Fideo. 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 Fide Fideo. Fideo. Okay, y'all have laughed at me at the first half of the video, I'm so sure. Okay, we're coming back in 15 minutes with our Fideo. How'd I do? Fideo. 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 Did I really say Fideo? Fideo. 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 Hey y'all, today I'm going to cook something I've never cooked before and I've never even heard of. Heritage Ways. I am Miss Katie, and Heritage Ways is where we honor home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. We love to talk about food, and we love to cook here at Heritage Ways. I love learning about folks' heritage, especially as it relates to food. Look, I've got these things. What in the world? I don't know. We're in Texas, and I found this unique-looking box three for a dollar nine and I thought it was so interesting that I had to buy three of them well actually four I bought one and then I came home and I thought you know after I posted on Instagram and I said okay Texans speak up tell me what's going on what do I need to know about this product and they overwhelmingly responded it's so wonderful it's so good I grew up with it it's a comfort food and on and on and I thought well next time I went to Kroger I bought three more because I thought I think I'm gonna like this now if I uh, let me just say right now if I mispronounce something y'all you can laugh that's fine but please tell me below how to pronounce it correctly this is vermicelli some people say vermicelli don't know the proper way, but it that's an Italian word, and it means little worms. I know that much. F-I-D-E-O. Fideo? Fideo? Is that right? I hope that's right. Fideo. Fideo. I've tried every way in the world. Fideo. Fido. Fideo. We're going with Fideo. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. All right, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk about what my Instagram friend said, but what I'm going to do today is what's on the box. We're making the recipe that's on the box. I have not opened a box of this before right now. Actually, this would be what you would use when you're making... Like, you know, Rice-A-Roni kind of, rice a is a brand name, but you know what I'm um, talking about. This with the rice. Anyway, this is what you would use. Okay, first thing you do, it says you're going to, um, actually this says saute meat first. Our meat's already cooked. I'll talk about that in a minute. box in there of vermi vermicelli vermicelli help a girl out all right now what we're doing here is we're just going to brown it I did skim two YouTube videos and I have knowledge from my Instagram friends but here's what I've learned Everybody says something different, but everybody says it's wonderful and comforting. A heritage food, or they grew up with it, or great for winter night. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch aprons. This is my apron that I don't necessarily cook in. This is the one, this is kind of my house apron. So that's, I'm putting that about 350-375, and I'm going to change aprons. This 
This is an apron my mother-in-law gave me the other day. It says, it says, Mrs. Good Looking is really cooking. It's made out of denim and it's got quilt patches that she bought at a somewhere. Not sure where. So we've got this and we're just going to keep stirring. Until this it's a good golden brown, from what I understand from my friends. Let's get my phone. Let's look at some of the comments on Instagram when I um, posted about this. Now, I'm like I said, I'm following the recipe on the box, but y'all, I got three more boxes, so I'm actually going to make three more other renditions of Fideo. All right, so here we go. I've got several friends who are in Texas and who are from Texas. This person says, it looks to be the noodles used to make fideo, which is a traditional Mexican noodle soup with a tomato base. This person says, yep, fideo, delicioso. This person says, I used to love that stuff when I could eat wheat. It's like angel hair pasta, which I used to love too. Okay. And this person lives in Texas also. Says, I've never bought it, but I see it all the time in the store. This person in Texas says, I brown it in some oil or butter with diced up onion. Oh, I'm going to add the onion. Let's see, what's the box say? Does the box say to add the onion? Yeah. All right. Okay. So my friend Brandy says to add the onion. She's not the only friend who says this at this point. So I'm adding the onion. It smells heavenly. I'm just here to tell you. I mean, come on, y'all. It's onion, for Pete's sake. Yum. Okay, I'm just going to keep stirring this and browning. Okay, back to what we were reading. So my friend Brandy says, I brown it in some oil or butter with diced up onion, and then I add tomato and chicken bouillon in water. I guess she means tomato sauce, maybe, or tomatoes. I don't know. She says just, she says tomato and chicken bouillon. Tomato and chicken bouillon in water. We don't like it soupy. Mine is more like Mexican rice than soup. See, it's interesting to me that, that they're calling this, and all over the all over YouTube, they call it Mexican dish. I'm confused about that because I mean, this is clearly an Italian word. Now, uh, some of the versions on YouTube and the internet said to use cilantro and lime. I'm sure it's delicious. Okay. This person says, in the skillet, brown the vermicelli and onion and oil, then add the ground ground beef, the tomato sauce, and salt and pepper. Simmer until done. I love this stuff. I roll it up in a warm, soft flour tortilla to eat. Okay, this person is lives in Missouri, but she's from Texas. She says, hey, that's good stuff. Okay, and my friend Stephanie lives in Texas. And she says, oh man, this is so good. Do what this other person says. It's delicious and inexpensive. Okay. This person lives in Pennsylvania, but she's from Texas. Tisha says, brown some hamburger meat with salt, onions, and garlic. When browned, add a can of diced tomatoes, a box of vermicelli, and about two cups of water. Bring it to a boil. Cover it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn the heat off. Don't uncover for five minutes. After five minutes covered, open that lid. Yummy. If you like green peppers, add them with the onions. Okay, so it seems to me that this wonderful box of yellow stuff pleases a lot of people in different ways. I love that. Kind of like, you know, most pasta would. Okay, that is it. So I might try one of those other ways another day. But the recipe on the box uh, just calls it Fideo Delicioso. Um, 
in the same pan, I'm, I'm browning this, add the chopped onions, then add the chicken broth and water, and the meat. Now this says a pound of meat. It, I've got some cooked, deboned, chopped chicken. The box says I can use chicken or pork or beef. So I just had chicken. I kind of prefer chicken, so I'm kind of glad that's what I had. I'm not a ground beef lover. When I do get ground beef, I buy organic, grass-fed, if at all humanly possible. And um, I just happen to have some chicken that needed to be used. Next time, I'll probably use ground beef when I do what my little friend said on Instagram. If y'all know anything about this, I would love for you to weigh in on it. And I also would love to know this. Do y'all like to try new things when you go places? Now, here's the thing. If you're new to Heritage Ways, we are temporarily traveling to meet our social media friends and find ways to serve and encourage folks around, you know, this part of the nation, the eastern side mainly right now. We hope to settle in a homestead as soon as the Lord allows in the next, we don't know. It could be, we don't know. This year, next year, we don't know for sure. He knows, that's okay. In the meantime, we're trusting him, but we're traveling around and meeting folks. But you know what? I love, love trying new foods, traveling around, eating the foods. We don't go to a lot of restaurants because they are expensive, but if there's a regional specialty that we think we need to try, like we tried the conch, fried conch in um, Florida, and other foods that are regional specialties, we will certainly try those. And that's why I'm trying this. So we've tried foods in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. We had the pork roll in New Jersey. And, you know, Amish food's kind of, Amish food is kind of popular in Pennsylvania, but the thing is, still have Amish friends, lots of them, and that's a story for another video, but what we know as Amish food is, um, can be deceiving, let me just, <laughs> um, they eat a lot of fast, uh, processed foods and things like that, but anyway, uh, we've, we've eaten, you know, of course, you know, there's barbecue in Memphis, and there are all kinds of things in Florida, and uh, we just try to seek out and at least try one regional specialty. So I'd like to know, is there a regional specialty in your area? Um, share down below, because it'll be fun to read each other's, because some people might not realize that their regional specialty, other folks don't even know about it. Okay, I've got this browned, as you can see. I'm going to add this chopped, deboned, cooked, chopped chicken. I estimate it's about a pound. Oop. Hello. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and add. It recommended a couple, two to three tablespoons of chili powder and some garlic powder. So I'm putting that in here. I'm using this wonderful little spoon. I think it's probably supposed to originally intended to be a coffee. A little scoop but I love this because it's pretty much one tablespoon and so I use that for one tablespoon made by our friends uh, the polders and so I'll put a link down below they are woodworkers wonderful family a large family beautiful beautiful woodwork so that's what I like to use I love to use if I can get away with using handmade or homespun items in the house instead of things from China or Walmart, what have you, then uh, I will do it. So that's what I use to measure this out. So I've got two tablespoons of chili powder. This just is mild chili powder. And, oh, I don't know, just some garlic powder. It didn't say how much. Put that in there before my liquid and kind of get those spices to wake up. Yum, smells great. Put some, it just said salt and pepper, so I'm gonna put, I don't know, half a teaspoon. 
always add more later. The other day I made potato soup and it was, cool. I put way too much salt, so. All right, and then pepper. Okay. I can measure better in my hand than just sprinkling on top. Okay, I'm just getting this all stirred around to kind of wake up the spices and then I'm fixing to put in the, the liquid. The box calls for 15 ounces of chicken stock. Remember, our friend said to use tomatoes, but I'm just going by the box tonight. Okay, now it calls for, um, I'm going to turn it up for just a second to kind of get it simmering since that chicken was cold. It calls for half a cup of water, so I'm going to get some pure water over here. a little bit more than half a cup. It says for, to cover and simmer for 15 minutes. I love this Bella Electric Skillet. I'll put a link, um, actually, it's in our Amazon Influence, it's in our Amazon, it's in our Amazon Influencer page, this Bella Electric Skillet. And I've gone through, because we use this at least, we've estimated at least once a day. That is very true, because sometimes we use it two and three times a day. This is our second one, I think, in two years. Um, so we love this product, this, this skillet. Okay, I'm going to let it get... Okay, it's it's simmering so I'm gonna turn it down to about 300 or so keep it a low simmer for 15 minutes all right and I think we're gonna serve it this says for extra zip add sliced jalapenos or ground cayenne pepper we're gonna serve it with these pickled peppers that my friend Lori from Whippoorwill Holler gave me when we were there it's got garlic in it. I don't know what all, but it's going to be good because everything she makes is good. So we're going to start eat it with these pickled peppers. When she handed it to me, she said, do you like hot stuff? And I said, whoo, I do. Wiping the forehead, the better, ooh, the, the more the better. Mr. Patient, not so much. We're also going to serve it with some sauteed greens. I've got some spinach and kale that I'm going to saute. And um, I've got a can of home canned beets that my friend Sarah from Benderman Farm gave us when we went down to visit their farm. All right, here's the beets that Miss Sarah gave me when we went down to visit their farm. I've been saving them because I know we're going to love them. So I was kind of trying to ration our wonderful things in our pantry. So we're going to have this fideo. Sounds like I'm, I don't know. How do you pronounce F-I-D-E-O? Here's what I found. We're going to find out. Borrowed from Spanish. Fideo. What? I need a pronunciation, please. Fideo. Fideo. De po. Fideo. 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 Okay, y'all have laughed at me at the first half of the video, I'm so sure. Okay, we're coming back in 15 minutes with our fideo. How'd I do? Fideo. Fideo. Okay, time's up. 15 minutes is up. Smells good. I think it could cook a little longer. I'm fogging up. I'm assuming it's supposed to be, I don't, I'm assuming it's not supposed to be watery. Remember my friend Tisha on Instagram was 
talking about letting it cook with the lid off. Anyway, this smells very good. I'm going to get a little taste test before I serve it up with my sauteed greens and beets for supper. Some crusty bread would be good with this. You know what else would be good, I bet? We got these ready to cook tortillas here in Texas. They're not the kind like most of the countries used to where you pull it out and eat it. It's gotta be cooked. And you heat them up, feel them apart gently, heat them up. They're delicious. We first had these when we were visiting Doug and Stacy for Little Miss Homemaker's birthday meal. It was delicious. So I bet those would be good with this too. Well, that's it. Fideo. Fideo. Did I say it right that time? Fideo. 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 There's my version of Fideo. Using the box recipe. I think I'm going to try the other recipes that our friends suggested. This is it for tonight. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment below about the things we talked about. See y'all next time here at Heritage Ways. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye-bye. It's very good. It's very good. It's simple but good. I can see where it would be much different with tomatoes and ground beef. It's good. Comforting for sure.